With WrestleMania coming up so soon, that would be a perfect time to finally discuss this topic. Now, if you didn't know, Dr. Trey is a pretty big wrestling fan. Love wrestling. Been watching wrestling for years. It's one of the only things that I actually still uh, bother to watch on TV. Even though it's not as good as it used to be, still more entertaining than most things on TV, especially when everything is a freaking reality show. Anyway, so over the years, John Cena has gotten a ton of hate. People just hate this guy's guts. But it's funny to me the reasons why they hate this guy and still love somebody like Hulk Hogan. It's funny, it's like these people don't realize that John Cena, even though he's not as influential as Hulk Hogan and never will be because that's impossible in regards to professional wrestling, but John Cena is pretty much the Hulk Hogan of this generation and people just need to deal with it. They bash John Cena, the things they bash John Cena for are the same things that made Hulk Hogan popular. But nobody had a problem with Hulk Hogan in the 80s. Get on John Cena for having a limited move set. Hulk Hogan's move set was even more limited. They get on John Cena for not being the best wrestler in the world. Hulk Hogan was a pretty terrible, mediocre wrestler. They get on John Cena for catering to kids. Who do you think Hulk Hogan catered to? Last time I checked, Hulk Hogan was the same one kissing babies and and all kinds of stuff in the 80s they're like mirror images of each other and you guys don't even realize this if you hate john cena and like hulk hogan of the 80s you're a hypocrite another reason i see for people hating cena is because he was champion for too long now this is something i actually agree with i don't like seeing people champion for years and years and years and there was actually a time where it looked like just John Cena was just invincible he would never lose and if he lost the only time he lost is if somebody cheated that was the only time he never had a clean loss ever like nobody ever beat the guy so that part I agree with but the same thing was with Hogan who beat Hogan in a clean win before the Ultimate Warrior Nobody like this dude was always winning all the time. He was champion for a long time now People got got on Cena About being champion for too long, but nobody got on wrestlers like uh, JBL that was champion for what? 13 straight straight months and who even wanted JBL to be champion? But I didn't see anybody online complaining, Oh, JBL's terrible. Oh, I hate him, blah, blah, blah. And that dude was like one of the most unentertaining champions of all time. But let's touch on this appealing to kids thing again. If you slam John Cena for appealing to kids, but didn't slam Hogan for appealing to kids, you're a hypocrite. And the reason why a lot of you guys don't realize that Hogan was appealing to kids in the 80s is because in the 80s, you either weren't alive or you were a little kid. Now, if you were a grown man during the early 80s, during the Hogan era, during the mid 80s, then you're kind of too old to be even arguing about this, actually. They both made terrible movies. Got John Cena making The Marine and... 12 rounds, which I haven't seen it, but I heard it wasn't half bad. The Marine was straight trash, however. But then we got Hogan that made No Holds Bar, fighting Zeus, aka Debo from Friday in a cage. Really? Really? The top guy in the business does not have to be the best wrestler. In fact, if you look at history, it's been like that for quite a while. <laughs> I mean, honestly, dude, all these people, if you guys give John Cena a hard time for his wrestling ability, do yourself a favor and go watch 
go rewatch some of those old Hulk Hogan matches. They are beyond terrible. Beyond terrible. Like hurt your feelings so bad. Terrible. Go back and watch Ultimate Warrior versus Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania. Terrible. Go back and watch Hulk Hogan versus The Undertaker at the Survivor Series. Terrible. Hulk Hogan matches weren't good. In fact, it's pretty sad. Most of his best matches are actually more recent matches facing better wrestlers. Some of his best matches are uh, his match against The Rock at WrestleMania. His match against Shawn Michaels at SummerSlam. Match against Randy Orton at SummerSlam. Those are three of his best matches ever. And that's when he was way over the hill. And it wasn't because of him. It's because of who he was wrestling and because of the standards that have changed since the mid 80s. Hulk Hogan was never a great wrestler. Period. As much as I was a fan of Hulk Hogan, still I'm a fan of Hogan. I like Hogan. But you must accept the fact that Hulk Hogan was no better a wrestler than John Cena. Actually, I think John Cena's a better wrestler than Hogan. And Hogan's finishers made even less sense than John Cena's. People want to get on Cena for his little stupid, you can't see me. Okay, that's dumb, but so is getting beat down for 25 minutes, then all of a sudden getting up and pointing at a nigga. And then all of a sudden they stun. Really? Really? So anyway, let me know what you guys think. And if you don't like wrestling, meh.